I'm Rob Woodfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Wednesday, October 1st. The Angels finished with baseball's best regular season record. The Dodgers have the worst record of any playoff team. But the postseason is a new season and each team has a chance to make it to the World Series. This year marks only the second time ever that both teams have made the playoffs, raising the possibility of a freeway series if both teams go the distance. And play begins today for both teams. The National Weather Service says Orange County will experience a second straight day of unusually hot weather, with temperatures reaching into the 90s or higher as high pressure lingers over the West Coast. The heat may lessen tomorrow, but might return next week. Fortunately, there are no Santa Ana winds in the immediate forecast. A Villa Park man was seriously injured last night when he apparently lost control of a plane he was attempting to fly at a Fullerton Municipal Airport and crashed on the runway. The pilot was hospitalized with cuts and broken bones, but is expected to survive. Meanwhile, the runway at Fullerton Airport is closed, and it's unclear how long airport operations will be suspended. Today, investigators from the Federal Aviation Administration are reviewing the scene of the accident. Damon and Diana Riddle of Anaheim held an open house yesterday to reveal a $50,000 makeover in energy-efficient upgrades and new appliances meant to be a model for how others can live more green. The Riddles were chosen from 500 entries to the Home Investment Package Makeover, sponsored by Anaheim Public Utilities and the Electric and Gas Association. Anaheim Public Utilities hopes more residents will take advantage of city programs to make their own upgrades, taking advantage of rebates and incentives worth up to $15,000. And in orange, Joel Robinson, a naturalist whose yard is crowded with sometimes brown and shaggy native plants, which have outraged some neighbors, has now been threatened with criminal prosecution. Robinson, whose yard has received certification from the National Wildlife Federation as a backyard habitat, received a letter from an assistant city attorney saying he must correct violations or face a $1,000 fine or six months in jail. Robinson and city officials will now work toward a compromise that cuts back overgrown and excessively dry vegetation that neighbors consider an eyesore without sacrificing the value of the habitat or increasing Robinson's water bill out of control. Weekdays, watch Daybreak OC from 10 to 11 a.m. on KDOC and catch Real Orange weekday evenings at 6.30 on KOCE. To read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day, click on OCRegister.com.